Epa mi gente! Blessed Friday to all. Sorry for this uh, late post of the day. I'll show you guys uh, once the video is coming to an end here what this day is looking like and I'm adjusting. The world kind of threw me a little curveball. I'm out here visiting the family. We had some crazy freezing rain and winds. My truck is completely frozen and I'm actually sitting on the passenger side because I can't get into the driver's side. But you know, I was having some great conversations with my family today, and uh, it led me to today's word. A word for you to reflect on and write about tonight is change. It's a big one, and most of us are not comfortable with it. I can say from the bottom of my heart, it's not something I uh, adjusted to too well over time, but I've learned to embrace it. And as I think about change, there's a lot of things that come to mind. What brought it up today was that for years now, I've really wanted a property, you know, a home for myself, my wife, the girls, something small, but for me, it's about the land. I dream and I picture us sitting on, you know, a few acres my sister's in real estate, so we're always looking at houses, going back and forth. And she always laughs because for me to even think of getting a house with that size of property and the budget we have in mind, of course, we're looking at much older homes. And it dawned on me that a lot of these houses I look at, you know, were built in the 60s, 70s, and not a lot in them has changed. They still look like they did back then. They froze in time. Well, let me ask you this. Has the world changed since the 60s and 70s? Guys, change is inevitable. It's either you're going to take action to change yourself. Or you're in action and the world around you is going to make sure that you change. Which version of yourself are you going to be more comfortable with? I could tell you five years ago, it'll be in April, when I got laid off from my construction job. And man, I was bitter. It was a dark time for Dina and I. I was drinking myself to sleep. I look back at it, I can't even believe that was me. But my ego took over and I was very bitter because I thought, you know, I was the best on the job and that shouldn't have happened to me. We were now married. I had a mortgage, you know, all about me. And here I am a month before my 30th birthday and I get a, a laid off of a job of eight years. Now this happened two weeks before we were going to Mexico. We already had this trip booked. It was with my in-laws, you know, so there was no way we were canceling it. It was done. So we went on this trip and I saw a different side of the world and I got to think and I decided to change on that trip. I remember in the mornings getting up early, going to the gym, something I hadn't even done before. And it started changing me. I brought a couple books with me and I sat at the beach reading. A guy who only read one book through all of high school. I changed. It's led me to this person that you're seeing in front of you now. So my friends, ask yourself tonight... What changes have you undergone in your life that have made a big significance to you? What things are you working on changing today? I look forward to you finding a lot more of yourself tonight. And I look forward to hearing some input in the comments below. You guys have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now.